Hello, world. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> I also want to update you on a couple things. Don't forget to smile wise. Might not be the best news for you, but I want to keep you updated. First meal of the day, it is 12.08. Let's keep cruising. Good morning, my friends. It is a good day to be alive. Today, we are going to go through some of my day. Basically, just a day in life, kind of show you what I eat. We're not going to go through the whole day, but just some things here and there. Kind of treat it like a daily vlog, kind of getting used to trying to maybe come to you with daily vlogs. I also want to update you on a couple things. Don't forget to smile wise with the brand and the sweatshirts that I'm trying to release and then a few other things that's on the docket. But first, we're going to start this day off with a good flipping freaking workout because there's no better way than to start the day. I'm a poet, if you didn't know it, with a nice juicy blood flowing pop. And if you would be so kind, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you are the first one to see my videos on the tube of the U with me. Let's go work out. <sighs> also, just a quick little update. I don't know when the video is going to come out, but this new sponsor video for my supplements, it's coming and I'm super flipping excited about it. So it's about 59 degrees outside. The shirt is gonna be a game time decision. I thought about wearing leggings just because I like the way my legs feel with leggings, but we're going short shorts instead. For now, we'll just rock the 10,000 shirt. I don't know why, but just like the feel of having my shirt tucked in a little bit more. Tie these bad boys. And of course, can't forget the trusty, dusty, Fanny pack, AKA what I call the mom pack on my Snapchat. Then we will go the Shayu racing socks, all black with the highlighter yellow, Saucony endorphin speed threes, my favorite daily trainer. And of course the white Oakleys, cause I feel most at home with them. Is that weird? That's kind of weird. Or do I feel home with sunglasses? I also got hit in the eye the other day with a bug while I was running without the glasses. So note to self, always wear sunglasses, whether you're on the bike, God, I miss my bike, I miss my freaking bike. On the bike, running, whatever, even if it's not sunny, because they're good for the sun and windshields. All righty, transitioning over to the GoPro, because I'm gonna take you on a little run. But I wanna show you, this is kind of what I do each day. I've got all my stuff, my to-do list, productivity, this is what I call it. And then I've got, when I block out the schedule, for the entire day so even things down to eating so 
I just did my Instagram comment, caught up in about two different ones. As you know, I reply to all my comments, especially on Instagram, YouTube, I usually do within the first 48 hours. I don't know where I was going with that, but basically the goal is to always stay as humane as possible. I like interacting with you people because I love you and you deserve to be interacted with. So that said, it's time to go on a run. Five miles, I'm gonna take the first mile slow. Let's get after it. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a little warm for the old, uh, oh, come on, GoPro. The old shirt, it's coming off. We're going no shirt. Ah, hello world. Ah. So as I said, we've got five miles. The first mile I'm gonna take a little light, probably aim for about 8.30, 8.45-ish, and then pick up the pace for the last four miles. Probably just try to keep it around 7.45, eight miles. We'll see, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling. Really, I just, that's not in the plan. Really, the plan is just to get five miles in. Yesterday was 60 minutes, as slow as you can go. Did about a nine minute pace, just 60 minutes. I made it 6.69 miles. Really, that's just training the heart rate to keep it low while you're on your feet for 60 minutes, so. Today's uh, more of a get your miles in at a good pace day. Well, mile one, a little faster than anticipated. Must be the shoes. Seven minutes, 57 seconds. Let's keep cruising. Mile two, 740. Six. The goal for today, I'm feeling pretty good. The goal today, so number one, enjoy the freaking views. Look at this, ah, so good. But the other goal is to keep every mile under eight minutes. That was the original goal for the last four miles, but went a little too quick on mile one. <laughs> one of the things I love about running on a highway is seeing people's reactions, honking, everything, the whole nine yards, people looking at me like I'm crazy, but then, you get the people that just passed by screaming out the window, fist bumping. Ah! Give me all the energy. Mile three, 722. Mile four, 723. Mile five, seven minutes flat. All right, so here's the stats that you can see. 757, 746, 722, 723. That makes me angry. Seven flat, average of seven minutes and 30 seconds. 156 beats per minute on the heart rate. Five miles. Now I always end my run walking up this hill, just a little cool down, sit up top, reflect. And I gotta tell you, I don't know if you could see it in my face after mile four, but mile three, I got into this zone. I was like, all right, I'm cruising. I feel good every mile. I'm gonna increase the time or the split. Well, maybe we need to pause this and go back to when I said mile four, because I was not very happy with myself. So why Nick, why would you be mad with yourself? I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Went from a 722 to a 723, and basically all that happened was I got complacent. For probably one-tenth of a mile, I could have gone a little bit harder. And instead, I was off by a second. To each their own, for me, I hold myself to that standard. If I committed to that goal for this run, that's what I wanted to complete, and I didn't do it. So I will say I am happy with the overall effort, especially the seven minute flat being the fastest mile on the last mile. And that just goes to show you that you and your brain and your body are quite capable of anything you wanna do, but it doesn't help to go from the mile before that, not hitting the goal and then running your fast smile, right? So that said, we're cruising along through this day. We're gonna go get something to eat, show you what I'm eating, go over some don't forget to smile. Merch, business updates, might not be the best news for you, but wanna keep you updated. So I can make that thing the best possible launch ever. Then we'll wrap this thing up. All right, my friends, we are here. It is time to eat the first meal of the day. It is 11.42, I'll probably be eating by about 12 about 15 minutes, but this is the spread. I'm gonna apologize in advance, by the way, the lighting gets really yellow in here. Here's the spread. We're gonna go six eggs, five pieces of Canadian bacon. Then we're gonna go a cup of oats with a cup of blueberries with protein powder mixed in, as well as peanut butter. So we're gonna be trying to go for a little bit high carb, high protein here with all the miles that I'm running. So just the way I feel the best. And then of course, I'm gonna go with a green supplement and colostrum. Colostrum is one of the best things for your gut microbiome. If you wanna do any research on it, it's incredible. The gut to brain connection, it's probably the thing we should be talking about the most in life. Um, so this is one thing that I do every single day. This is just a company called Armra, A-R-M-R-A, -R Colostrum. Immune revival, protect, regenerate, strengthen. There's all kinds of bioactive ingredients. So 
I'm not sponsored by either of those. This is potentially my new sponsor, but I'm not gonna show you just yet. So uh, again, no affiliation here, but uh, let's get cracking. Literally. And here we are, the meal. First meal of the day, it is 12.08. As you saw, quite the concoction. Six eggs, five pieces of bacon, high protein, a little bit of fats in there, cup. I've already said all this. Anyways, I added a little honey, peanut butter, and uh, cinnamon, it's kind of my sweet tooth. It was fruity cereal protein powder. And if you do that trick, did you notice how I folded it in and then I kind of stirred it very slowly? That's one of my favorite tricks to add more protein, but uh, this is what we got. And I'm realizing I might need a fork. As I sit here and eat in front of the camera, if you're hungry, I'm sorry. Mm, it's really good. Also, if you were wondering why my eggs are orange tinted, because I cook with turmeric which actually has anti-inflammatory properties. I want to talk to you about Don't Forget to Smile, and we'll wrap this thing up. By the way, if you're wondering what I eat the rest of the day, I have one cup of white rice, a pound of ground beef at 93%, a scoop of Greek yogurt, and sriracha in there, and usually some kind of green. Sometimes I do steamed broccoli. I call it meat mush. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that I kind of have a meat mush of the day and just whatever is on there. Lots of protein right there, even more carbs. Then at dinner, I'll have a lean protein. Tonight is two thin sliced steaks, which are ribeyes, and then I'll do two servings of veggies, which will be probably tonight, I think I'm gonna go cauliflower and asparagus. And then right after that, before I go to bed, my, well, about an hour and a half before I go to bed, my nightly snack will be Greek yogurt with a scoop of protein. Greek yogurt itself is like 16, 18 grams of protein, more protein with a banana, honey, cinnamon, call it quits for the night. But, and I will make this very quick because I have been talking for entirely too long in this vlog. Don't forget to smile. Long story short, my goal was to release my sweatshirts with my message on it by the end of January. It is now January 30th. They were sweatshirts. As we get into the warmer months, it doesn't quite make sense to release sweatshirts. Now, there's been some stagnant process around this just because I am 3,000 miles across the country and where I'm trying to make this happen is in Nashville. Now that's an excuse, it is, but I don't feel like I have been putting the time and effort and the 150% effort that I want to put into that message and that brand before I launch it. What I mean by that is I wanna be wholeheartedly in on the launch. I don't just want it to be a, a surprise. Like, hey, look, I have sweatshirts. No, I want it to be a bigger picture thing. I have visions of taking Don't Forget to Smile and we can bookmark this clip because in 10 years when it's coming true, we can come back and talk about it. But I have big visions of the Don't Forget to Smile being like a convention and motivational speakers and not just an apparel brand, but building some kind of message that resonates. Not it, You don't have to follow me to understand that message. I, I literally had one of the worst days of my life, just, just in a terrible mood yesterday. I think it's normal. I think it's important to normalize that. I don't think it's fair to only show you the good. I tell you that because in the middle of feeling like crap all day, I literally took 30 seconds of my day just to stare at a wall, smiling and you, you trigger those happy hormones. Now, don't forget to smile is more than that, but that's, a, that's one of the parts that it originated from was that exercise and just the idea that your brain literally says, hey, trigger the happy hormones when you smile. Those, the, the, facial, the muscles in your face trigger those hormones. It's a pretty wild idea, but research backs this. So anyways, more than that, if you don't follow me, if there's a one day when we're in middle schools and high schools and people are, kids are wearing it everywhere, you don't have to follow me to understand that Don't Forget to Smile is spreading positivity and you never know that one smile can change anybody's life, right? I, I, I find myself wearing the samples that I have right now in the airport and people reading it and I find myself just like more conscious of that idea of like, hey, I'm wearing Don't Forget to Smile, I need to smile more. And I think that that's a pretty cool feeling to have because I'm more conscious of just 
being happier throughout the day. It's a really interesting brain switch that happens when I'm wearing it. And uh, I think it's gonna be something really cool to kind of make, ho hopefully, my, my, my intention is to make an impact and make a, make a difference with this brand. So that said, I think I'm putting this on pause until I move to Nashville, which is probably gonna get be when I get back from Africa in mid-March. And then I'm gonna be boots on the ground going crazy. Maybe the first thing we release is t-shirts in the middle of the spring, but once I get there, and I know that's an excuse, like, oh, we're just delaying and procrastinating it. But again, I wanna put my heart and soul and effort into everything, don't forget to smile, when I have that time. And I just don't feel like I'm, I, I've been prioritizing it enough. I don't think that me and my business partner, Brandon, have been able to do what we want to do with it because we both have a very big vision on it. So that's kind of where I'm at with Don't Forget to Smile. Maybe if you want me to drop some sweatshirts, I do have, I just ordered a bulk group of sweatshirts. I mean, I could still just put them up for sale and then we just sell out of those and maybe we, we have those as like, hey, you start spreading the message. You let me know in the comments on that idea because obviously I put a good amount of money into those sweatshirts just as a whole. So if they're there, we might as well just, you know, let people wear them. Um, if that's something of interest, then let me know. With that said, I'm going to scrounge down. I don't even know if that's a word. I'm going to smack the rest of this food. Go on with my day. I've got some filming to do. Filming more cooking reels. By the way, if you liked, I might go full YouTube videos of these, these cooking videos I've been making on Instagram too. I think that'd be a fun idea. So let me know in the comments on that as well. I've got one to film, I'm get to film one today. And then I've got quite a bit of work to do the rest of the day uh, to enjoy the day. But wherever you are, whoever you are, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I appreciate you watching, kind of taking some time out of your day to uh, keep up with me. And with that said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon to the first one to see my videos. The tube of the you with me. Have an awesome freaking day. And don't forget to smile.